Hey y'all, today I'm gonna to be teaching you about setting up your hosting and your domain. So um, like we talked about the first day, we are operating out of nmi.cool slash web dev for everything in this course. And um, if you haven't already, go to the course software tab and download the Cyberduck app and Visual Studio Code. We also recommend that you use Chrome and back up everything to a cloud of your choice, whether that be OneDrive, Google Drive, etc. Um, there's instructions on downloading Visual Studio Code and Cyberduck below. So do that before the next step. Then you're going to go to setting up domain and hosting, which is under HTML and CSS. And we are going to be purchasing hosting through Reclaim. I'm going to walk through all of this with you and set up a new account for myself as well. So you go to Reclaim. They, they just updated a lot of stuff, so things may look slightly different. I'm on the home screen here. I'm going to go to create an account. And it's going to say to create account, place an order. Click on that, place an order. And you're going to go to this $30 annual student and personal plan. And this is where you will choose a new domain. So since I already have a portfolio, I'm going to do Claire4010.com and it is available. So then I click next, it says it's going to be 30. Ultimately it will be 45. You can go ahead and add ID protection for the next year click continue and so this includes the hosting along with the domain registration and that's going to be $45 total so I'm going to put this in and come right back okay so all of that has been confirmed I head over to my email and I've got a lot of emails so um, first you need to verify using this link before you do anything. Woohoo. This is the most important email. Um, this allows you to log into your FTP information using the username and password. So make sure that you do not lose this email. Make sure you put this username and password somewhere and make sure you copy the password directly because it's very difficult to type in on its own. Um, and then I'm going to head back here. So that is a very important email. And then you have your invoice confirmation for the $45. So now back over here, it tells you about this email. You're going to go back to reclaim hosting and continue to the client area. And it should have um, your shared hosting personal plan here with a button to log into the C panel. That's where we need to go. So once you get here, there's a lot of icons. You are going to click right here on FTP accounts. Then scroll down to the bottom. Can ignore any pop-ups and you see this line here not the one that says logs the first one you're going to click here on configure FTP client and you're going to click the gray button SFTP secure file transfer protocol there are instructions um, on how to make it save to your desktop if you don't already automatically have that happening so we just did all of that. Then you're gonna to go to your desktop and click on the duck. Don't just allow this once, do always allow or else it'll come up every time. And that'll bring you to this login screen. So this is where you need to copy um, the password from that important email directly into here. 
and click login. And that should bring you to this page. If you get to this page, congratulations, you are set up to upload files to the internet. Okay, once you get here, we're gonna create a bookmark. So I'm um, gonna go here and then do add. And um, we've just added the connection to your bookmark so that you don't have to go searching for it every time. You can also remove bookmarks and you can always see your recent connections at this clock icon. But this way, every time you open Cyberduck, it will be here. You're also gonna be setting this up on the computers in the lab. So we'll be running through this again in the lab, in class. And that is all for setting up your hosting and Cyberduck connection.